this video is to help you with question number seven on your first CR. It says, pretend that one day you put a magical jelly bean in a jar. The next day, it doubled to two jelly beans. The next day, they doubled to four jelly beans. This doubling pattern continued for 28 days. How many jelly beans would you have at the end? Okay, so here's our first day. So this is day one. There's our magical jelly bean. The next day, day two, that magical jelly bean has doubled. There's now two jelly beans. Day three, each of those magical jelly beans double. And now we're up to four jelly beans. So day one, we had one jelly bean. Day two, we had two jelly beans. Day three, we had one, two, three, four jelly beans. So they just keep doubling every day. Probably in science you've seen this with um, your, I, I, I'm going to throw out the word mitosis. I don't even know that I'm right. But does that have to do with cells doubling? I, I don't know. You're going to want to check with your science teacher. I may have just made up the word mitosis or it might have nothing to do with this. Um, but something, you learn something in science where you know that cells double. And a lot of times bacteria grows at very fast rates. They double, things like that, when you grow things in a Petri dish. All right, so let's say we moved on to day four. These magical jelly beans just keep doubling. My problem is I would be eating them and then, I don't know, then they'd either be gone or they'd be doubling inside my belly. I'm not sure. Day four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, gosh, we're up to eight jelly beans after day four it's ugly how i spelled that oh well i gotta get over it oh i wonder how many there'll be on day five so on day one there was just one day two doubled it up there was two jelly beans day three each of those doubled we're up to four jelly beans day four each of those doubled we're up to eight jelly beans we gotta go all the way to day 28 i don't think i'm gonna continue this pattern maybe i'll do one more day day five Whew. Day five, that jelly bean doubles, that jelly bean doubles, that one doubles, that one doubles, that one doubles, oh goodness, that one doubles, this one doubles, oh goodness, this is so ugly, and this one doubles, oh my gosh, so ugly. So let's see on day five how many jelly beans we're up to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Whew, 16 jelly beans. I'm going to be honest with you. These numbers appear to be powers of two. Two to the first is two. Two to the second is is two times two or four. Two to the third means two times two times two. Two times two is four times two is eight. Hmm. Two to the fourth means two times two times two times two. Two times two is four. Two times two is four. Four times four is 16. Two to the fourth is 16. It appears as though this doubling involves powers of two. We got to go all the way to day 28, though. So I'm going to start making a little table for myself. Maybe make it easier. This will be day. This will be number of jelly beans. And I might also then want to do a power of two just to help myself. So day one, and we did day two, day three, day four, day five, and then we would keep going. Day six, holy shimoli, day seven, dot, dot, dot. And then we'd get to day 28. This is cray cray. All right, so on day one, there was just one jelly bean. I'm going to talk about what that power of two is in a minute. Day two, we were up to two jelly beans. And that's the same as two to the first power. Day three, we were up to four jelly beans. So on day three, four jelly beans is actually two to the second power. Day four, you were up to eight jelly beans. Eight jelly beans is actually two to the third power is eight. Okay. 
Day five, we were up to 16 jelly beans, and that was two to the fourth power. I have a feeling, hopefully at this point, you could look at this pattern and say, oh, this next day it would be two to the first, second, third, fourth, two to the fifth power. So on day six, it's two to the fifth power jelly beans, and two to the fifth is actually 32. On day seven, one, two, three, four, it would be two to the sixth power of jelly beans. So on the seventh day, there would actually be 64 jelly beans. And if we were to continue this pattern all the way down to 28, it would be two to the sum power, and that's the issue. I just want to back this up for a minute. So if this is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, this one would be 2 to the 0 power. And any number to the 0 power is 1. If you check 2 to the 0 on your calculator, you will get 1. And that's, you know, following this pattern. So let's see. On day 7, it was 2 to the 6th power. Hmm. On day 6, it was 2 to the 5th power. So I'm just going to write this next to it. Day 6, 2 to the 5th power. Day 7, 2 to the 6th power. Day 5 was 2 to the 4th power. Day 4 was 2 to the 3rd power. And so on. So if you're way up at day 28, how do we figure out the power? Oh, 6 is 1 less than 7. 5 is 1 less than 6. 4 is 1 less than 5. So on day 28, it better be 2 to the 27th power. 2 to the 27th power on day 8. 2 to the 27th power on day 28. So I'm going to pick up my handy dandy calculator now, and I'm going to do 2 to the 27th power. <laughs> oh, God. So there'll be 1, 3, 4, 2, 1, 7, 7, 2, 8. Holy shimoli. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so on the 28th day, if you just let these jelly beans double, they're very magical, you'll have 134,217,728 jelly beans to eat. And if you really like jelly beans or you have a lot of friends, good luck. It'll take you a while to eat those. On your actual CR, yours is involving pennies doubling. So one quick item about pennies doubling. A penny, if you're going to put it in decimal form, is 0.01. So I just want to remind you. That's how you write um, one cent, 0.01. All right, hopefully that helped. Very similar to what's on your CR, except you're talking about money on the CR.